Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. Today I want to review No News or What Killed the Dog, his 1994 short story. But before we do that, we do need to listen to a piece of audio for reference uh, because it is the inspiration for this story. So uh, this will take about three minutes. Uh, let's listen to it and then we'll be back soon with a review. All right, here we go. A wealthy man was ordered by his physician to go away to the mountain for a rest. He went home, told his members of his family what the doctor had said. He says, while I'm away, I don't wish to be annoyed by letters or telegrams. In fact, I don't want to receive any news of any kind. So he went away, was gone about six weeks. Returned to the city very much improved in health and very anxious for some news from home. Got off of the train at the depot, was met by his colored servant, and the following conversation ensued. He said, well, Henry, how is everything at home? Is there any news? There's no, sir. There ain't no news, sir. Everything is just about the same as when you all went away. Nothing happened? No, sir. There ain't, there ain't nothing happened. There ain't no news. Well, he says, you know, I'm just dying for some word from home now. You can tell me any little thing, no matter how trifling. No, sir. There ain't no news. There ain't nothing to tell you, sir. Except, uh, there's just one little thing. Since you've been away, your dog died. Oh, he says, my dog died, eh? Well, that's too bad. What killed the dog? Well, sir, the dog eats some uh, burnt horse flesh. And that's what killed the dog. He eats burnt horse flesh. Where did he get burnt horse flesh to eat? Well, sir, you know your barn burned down. And after the fire had cooled off, the dog went and eat some of the burnt horse flesh, and that's what killed the dog. Oh, he says, my barn burned down, eh? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, indeed, the, the barn, that's all burned down. But says, how did the barn catch fire? Well, sir, you see the spark. From the house flew over, caught onto the barn, burned the barn down, burned up all the cows and the horses, and after the fire had cooled off, the dog went and eat some of the burnt horse flesh, and that's what killed the dog. Oh, he says, then my house burned down, too, eh? Oh, yes, sir, yes, indeed, the, the house, that's, uh, that's completely destroyed. Says, well, how did the house catch fire? Well, sir, they, they had some candles burning in the house, and one of the candles caught onto the curtain, and the curtains caught onto the roof, and the spark flew over and caught onto the barn and burned the barn down, burned up all the cows and the horses, and after the fire had cooled off, the dog went and eat some of the burnt horse flesh, and that's what killed the dog. He says they had candles burning in the house where I have gas and electricity. I never knew there was a candle in the place. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. They, they had the candles there. They, they had the candles burning all around the coffin. The coffin? Who's dead? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a... Uh, that's another little thing I forgot to tell you about. Since you've been away, your mother-in-law died. Oh, my mother-in-law died, eh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. She's dead, all right. Uh, you needn't worry about that. Well, it says, what killed my mother-in-law? Well, sir, I don't know exactly what killed her, sir. But around the neighborhood, they say it was from the shock of your wife running away with the chauffeur. But outside of that, sir, why, there ain't no news. All right, guys, what did you think? That was cute. Um, that is the 1908 Nat M. Mills recording, or Nat M. Wills, rather. Um, there are numerous versions of this um, following uh, Nat Mills' version. Um, not entirely sure which one was the precise inspiration for Ray Bradbury. There's a few differences in the text, I noticed, um, as opposed to the um, to their audio version. Um, so, uh, No News or What Killed a Dog is a 1994 short story. Um, Bradbury's story is slightly science fiction, but not quite. Um, involves the Bentley family, whose 20-year-old beloved dog has just passed away. Uh, the family has not experienced any hardships, no deaths, no illnesses. And so the loss of their dog, um, after all of these years of uneventful living, um, as a shock to the system, um, and they don't quite know how to deal with it. Uh, he was very important to him, so they decided that no amount of money is too much. They dropped $200 on a local pet cemetery. And so they, um, they go and they have a service there where they play this recording. Um, there's talk throughout the story about how a generation ago, you know, um, most kids in the family died. Uh, however, people continued to um, have multiple kids knowing damn well that this is going to happen um, just a generation ago when the, the father of the family um, was coming up. 
And they play this old recording where a, a narrator um, tells the story of how the man's dog came to die. And um, he basically, you know, says there's no news, but he buries it after or underneath several tragedies. And, um, you know, by the time we get to the end where the family dog um, uh, has been revealed to how he died, we learned that um, the man's mother-in-law was dead too, which... Um, so some people would not be, um, not be news. I think in the Bradbury version, it was actually the aunt, which is a little bit different. I think the mother-in-law version, um, has a different context because people hate their mother-in-laws, but they don't necessarily hate their aunts. Um, but it's really about, um, bearing the lead, um, not being able to, um, sort of identify, uh, tragedy, tra tragedy when you see it. Um, for me, um... I love how um, it becomes a story about how um, when you're living comfortably, you have a hard time identifying um, real tragedy. And I think we see this in our world today where um, small things really seem to bother us and make us feel like um, big events have gone down. But usually it's just like some ridiculous tweet, um, something you don't agree with in a YouTube video, that type of nonsense. Um, at the same time, um, if you're a man and <laughs> the old man first, uh, man's best friend adage um, survives, um, it is still a tragedy when you lose your favorite pet. Um, but really, um, it's a story about all things being relative, um, about the loss of perspective. Sort of reminds me of the tale of, you know, you put a frog in a pot of warm water, lukewarm water, you slowly raise the temperature and it won't try to get out because it'll slowly... Um, not be aware of it, it's cooking to death. And that's sort of what um, what's going on here. Uh, it's funny how, well it's not funny, it's obvious. Um, all the best art, all the best true stories sort of, um, stories with truth, philosophical truth in them anyway, um, they really ring true. And <laughs> to me this really seems like remarkably true today in this crazy, crazy world we live. Uh, but this is a 1908 recording a 1994 short story, and um, it survived um, this long for a reason, uh, because it is true. All right, guys, uh, those are my rather disjointed thoughts on No News or What Killed the Dog, a 1994 short story by Ray Bradbury. We will continue working through Bradbury stories as uh, the months tick by. Um, it's a big book. Um, we're 20 or so stories in of a total of 100. So we're going to be here at this for a while. If this is something you think you might enjoy, please subscribe to my channel. Take a look at the playlist, subscribe to it, and I'll see you again soon.